Hello, my name is Frosty Panda, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build rooms on different layers of the map in Dungeon Alchemist. As usual, we're going to want to start with a blank map. Grasslands, flat, no vegetation, no water. As we all know, whenever you try to build a room on any hill, the program forces the room to the default build height. To get around this, we're going to go ahead and build our room where we want it. Please keep in mind later you will not be able to add objects to the room, so do your furnishing now before moving on to the next step. Once you are ready, go ahead and save your map. You are then going to go ahead and open your map in any notepad application. We're going to be covering a lot of basics from my first video, so if you haven't watched that one yet, the link is in the description. You are going to go to the replace option. From there, we are going to search for all height 0.2 and replace with height 3 or your desired value. The reason we are doing this is because the default build height for rooms is 0.2. This is a quick and efficient way to raise the entire room and objects in it rather than raising and placing each object individually. Go ahead and save your map then reload in Dungeon Alchemist. Congrats, you have a floating room. Doesn't look too appealing, does it? Even if we raise the earth around the room, it will not go all the way to the walls, leaving a slight gap going into the abyss between the raised earth and the wall. But thankfully, I found ways around this. As you can also see, as I mentioned before, the room is no longer considered a room by Dungeon Alchemist, and we cannot place objects in it. I went ahead and reloaded the map prior to the height adjustment and I'm going to place an apple as close to the center as possible. There's a reason behind this, I promise. I'm going to reopen the map in a notepad editor and search for my apple object ID. Once I find it, I'm going to take the X and Y measurements and save them for later. Now I'm going to add a platform to my map. I like to think of this as adding a foundation to a house. Now. We're going to go ahead and find the platform object ID, and we're going to give it the X and Y values from our apple we placed earlier, as well as the height of our room. As you can see, I may have been off on my apple placement, also we're going to need to adjust the height lower. At this point, it's just playing with numbers. I found some values I'm happy with. It's not exact, but that's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and start raising the ground to match the platform. And there we go. We have a raised room. From here, if you want to place another room at another height, just build the room and start the tutorial from scratch, replacing all 0.2 height items to the desired height of room number 2. And that's all you need. You now have the tools to make rooms at different heights. Once again, if you haven't seen my enlarging and merging video, you can find it here. My maps can be found in the Dungeon Alchemist Discord in the link below, and once again, thanks for watching.